it's me and I'm filming this on my phone because um, my laptop storage is really full and I'm having a hard time figuring out how to fix it and um, I need the storage space open for me to mess around with it so um, I really want to film this so we're doing it on my phone and I don't know how long I'm going to have to do this but um, we're gonna do it Anyway, so I got this in the mail a couple days ago. That's how long I've been trying to figure this mess out. And um, I'm finally getting around to doing it. It's like 10.30 in the morning. I woke up like an hour-ish ago. And I'm kind of shocked I'm doing this right now. But I really want to do it. Because I've been wanting to look at this ever since it came in the mail. But I've been saving it. Because I always give you guys my first reactions. So here we go. Oh, I apologize in advance for the glare. But this is what came in the mail, and I'm so happy about it. I'm so excited. It is the ultimate visual guide from American Girl, and um, I pre-ordered mine on uh, oh crap, um, Amazon, and um, I actually pre-ordered it in May when I first got wind of it, and I think I'm one of the only people to have this, so yeah. <laughs> Um, this is the front. We got Melody and number 33 here. Um, the book is hardcover and it is actually really heavy. It's so heavy that when I brought the box inside, I didn't really think it was a book. I thought I was carrying dog food. Um, it's easily like, mm, easily five pounds. I want to say it's more than that. It feels really heavy, but I also have no strength in my arms. I can't lift anything. I can, I can lift her. And she's like, what, 15 pounds? She's probably as far as I can comfortably go. Um, so she breaks my arms. She's heavy. Say hi to the camera, Hopi. Um, she's sleeping. So, yeah, I'm so super excited. Here's what the back looks like. We've got number 64 and Kaya. So it's a mixture of, um, you know, Be Forever and Truly Me. We got some Truly Me girls over here. And we've got some more Truly Me girls over here. And there's the cute little cat. Oh my god, that is so cute. Um, the back says, Explore the wonderful world of American Girl. Find out everything you need to know about all the American Girl characters. Read about their fascinating stories. Discover their amazing outfits and accessories. And get an exclusive look behind the scenes. This beautiful celebration takes you into the heart of one of America's favorite brands. And would delight fans old and new. Well, I'm an old fan. Which is why I had to have it. Um, so here's what the side looks like. It says American Girl Ultimate Visual Guide, and we've got Caroline. Oh crap, I don't know her number. Oh no, that's horrible. That's really horrible. I know who she is, but I can't remember her number. 49. I think that's Isabel. And number 61. So yeah, without further ado, we're going to actually open it now. So on the inside, we've got this really awesome lining on both sides. It's stars. They're red and American Girl signature color. And we've got all the signature stars here. Here we are. It's the same thing the backs. Oh, it's it's different. You can pause that and read it. Meet all the American Girl dolls in one place for the first time ever. And we've got Julie's walking dogs. So cute. Mary Ellen's on the back. With one with the meet the authors thing. It's very thick, and um, I only opened it to like here. That's all I've done. So here is the cover page, like the title page or whatever. We got all kinds of children in here. Look at how old Felicity looks. Oh my God, and there's just, oh, I'm so excited by this. I'm so, so excited. Oh my God, you guys. Josie looks old too, because that's, Pretty forever. That's the circle, Josie. Um, so it literally has everything under the sun in here. You can pause this and look at it. There's Leah. I'm covering Leah. I'm not trying to. There's Tutu up there. They literally have everything decorating the pages, and it's so cute. Girl of the Year. Truly me. And then there's over 200 pages. It's incredible. There's Sam. Oh, this is how far I opened. I didn't read it, though. We're going to read this out loud. But here is the... Look at that. It's so awesome. Forward, a girl and her doll. 
How a girl relates to her doll is a marvelous mystery. She can be her doll's mother or her best friend. Sometimes she's the doll herself, becoming part of her world and her time, standing in her shoes, facing her challenges, and feeling her sadness and her joy. This beautiful book welcomes you into the charming world of American Girl Dolls. Since its introduction in 1986, the, girl, the dolls have been the beloved companions of millions of girls. On their sturdy little shoulders, American Girl Dolls have carried the wishes, dreams, and make-believe adventures of the girls who play with them. The dolls enable girls to lift the stories about the American Girl characters right off, off the pages of the books and make up adventures for them on their own. The dolls help a girl make friends with the characters who lived long ago and far away or in circumstances very different from their own. It has been my life's privilege and honor to tell the stories of many of the American girls. I wrote about the historical characters, first Molly, then Samantha, Felicity, Josefina, Kit, and Mary Ellen. I've written about their best friends too, Emily, Nellie, Elizabeth, and Ruthie. I've seen firsthand how girls love their dolls. I've seen dolls handed down from mother to daughter, which I'm doing by the way. Some dolls perfectly preserved and some with tangled, lovingly brushed hair, but all deeply, deeply treasured. Walk into the world of American Girl shown to you on these pages. Read about how carefully every enchanting dress, accessory, or piece of furniture was researched, planned, and delivered to loving girls. We'll see about that. <laughs> as you immerse yourself, you'll be delighted, inspired, encouraged, educated, and changed, just as millions of American girls have been before you. Valerie Tripp. I love Valerie Tripp. Meet American Girl. Look, there's um, number, oh crap, 26, I think. And Samantha and then Isabel. And we got some pets. We got Meatloaf and Licorice and Jip. Samantha's dog and Sandy, Kylie's dog. Oh my god, that's crazy. I'm so cool. This is amazing, you guys. Like I, I kind of Wow! My voice cracked. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like all stuffy this morning. Holy mother of na okay. Do you guys see this right now? This is incredible. <gasps> oh, here's something from Pleasant Roland. From the beginning, I knew we had to build a publishing company, a doll company, a toy company, a clothing company, and a direct mail company all at once. But what we were really building was a girl company, and anything that was good for girls was ours to give them. Wow. This book is incredible. The quote, whatever you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. But German writer Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. I said that wrong. I apologize. Inspired Pleasant as she created the company and graces the walls of America Girl to this day. That's amazing. There she is. Pleasant Roland. 30 years later, Pleasant dream, Pleasant's dream has come true in ways far bigger than she'd ever imagined. 135 million books and nearly 20 million dolls are in the hands of hearts of girls around the world. 32 are in my hands. Oops. The generation of girls who first fell in love with American Girl characters now have daughters of their own. Who knows what bold new ideas they will dream up. I don't know. That's so awesome. It's got quotes from Pleasant Roland. Oh, here's the originals. Oh. Pleasant started by creating the American Girls collection featuring three strong, smart, compassionate characters, nine-year-old girls growing up at different times in America's past. She created dolls for the characters with a series of three books for each one. Wow! So the other books came later, I guess. Look, you guys. A doll made by God, a German doll company, provided the inspiration for the look of every American girl. Gotts made the original American girl dolls, and the same face mold is still used today. Good to know. Oh, this is so cool. I can't wait to read it. I'm so excited for this. That's awesome. I love it. Truly me. Girl of the Year. Still want you, Lindsay. I will get I will hopefully get you someday. Doubt it though. Look, it's McKenna. Design time. Oh, there's the the pics of Mary Ellen that um, H.G. Overseas fan put out. I did like her better with the side bang. I really did. They went that. Glad they went that route. I really am. Um, obviously, it's on the opposite side now, but you know what? That's okay. 
She's gorgeous. She's really gorgeous. Did you know the American Girl team might discuss 100 doll names before choosing just one? The name has to fit her personality and the V Forever characters be culturally accurate for her time period, too. That's so awesome. Oh, I have those shoes. I have the Heelys. I got them from Mia. Oh, look! Wow, that's kind of impressive. So these almost became Sage's meat outfit. I'm really glad they chose the one they did because I don't like that left one and that right one is not anywhere near as good as the middle one. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god! Are you serious? Packaged with care. Oh my goodness, you get to see every single AG box ever. Since 1986, the design of the logo has changed many times. Customers were responsible for the change from Pleasant and Company to American Girl. The name they felt was a better fit for the brand they loved. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. Kind of in awe. And then you get to see all about the doll hospital, as if we don't know anything about the doll hospital. Oh, here we go. Did you know, following an employee suggestion, doll repairs have been offered since 1988. By the end of 2015, nearly 760,000 dolls have been cared for at the doll hospital. Holy crap, that's a lot of dolls. So cute. Oh my god. Okay, you guys, if you're a huge collector, you must get this book. This is this is huge. Like any any collect AJ collector needs this book. This is incredible. It's only twenty dollars on Amazon as of right now. I'm unsure if AG is selling it or if it's just an Amazon thing. Oh my god, my voice sounds so nasally, I'm sorry. <laughs> It literally has a timeline of AG. Like, do you see this? Oh, <gasps> that's just incredible. I'm blown away. I'm emotional right now. Like I'm going to ball my eyes out. Oh, and my baby. No. Oh God, I will cry. I miss Googling so much. Oh, look at Sage! That picture's so cute and Lainey. Oh, Melody! Isabel's picture's super cute. Mary Ellen. I just realized she's standing in front of houses. That's cool. And Grace is in Paris. Okay, that, okay that's cool. That's really cool. Okay, I like that. They have everything under the sun. Oh my God. Kaya, Felicity, and Elizabeth, Caroline, Jos Josephina. Wow, I know it's pronounced Josephina. I don't know why. Is it Josephina? I think I was trying to say Josie and then I changed it halfway through. That's what happened. Mary Grace and Cecile, Kirsten, Addie, Sam, Nellie, um, Rebecca, for her name for a second, that's horrible. Kit and Ruthie, Molly and Emily. Mary Ellen, Melody, Julie, and Ivy. Every single Be Forever character slash historical character known to man. Now, the ones I have. <laughs> Felicity, Elizabeth, Caroline, Marie Grace, and Cecile. There's Miss Addie, Samantha, Nellie. I was about to call you Ruthie. You're Rebecca. Jeez, Ash, come on. Ruthie, Molly, Emily, and that's it. It's like most of the page. Oops. Oopsies. They literally have everything. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Oh my god. Meet Kaya. That's incredible. That's incredible. I love this picture. Hello, Yanni. <laughs> Oops. That's
That's amazing. I'm obsessed. Did you know the Nez Perce, Pierce, Perce? I said that wrong. I'm sorry. Today breed horses that are suited to their environment. They are a mix of Appaloosa and an ancient breed called Akaltiki. I said that wrong too, but you know what? That's okay. I can't get over this book. Oh my god. I'm, I'm just, I'm blown away. Oh my god, Felicity, my sweet girl. I'm kind of in awe. Just a little bit. That's amazing. I'm in shock. Oh my god, they have pictures of Elizabeth. My first child! Elizabeth was my first ever doll, for those of you who are new and don't know. Hope is going to force herself under my blankets, apparently. I love this picture. I don't remember seeing that. That is beautiful. Hope, oh, come on. Did you know, in colonial times, women and girls have always covered their heads with hats, veils, or caps, such as the pinner cap, the lace pinner cap Elizabeth wears to her sister's party. This is incredible. The Noah's Ark toy is so cool. Annabelle Banana Bell, yes! That green dress is really pretty. Oh no. My baby! Oh god, I'm still sour over Caroline's archival. No. No, no, no. I own almost everything in Caroline's collection. Like, it's not even funny. Caroline's collection is probably my most completed to date. The only outfits of hers that I do not have would be her work outfit because I didn't want it or like it that much to be honest and her birthday outfit and that's only because they retired it before I could buy it yeah I have everything and I don't I don't have her I don't have her calf though I didn't want the calf and I don't have the big stuff either but you guys get the point I wish I had bought her parlor when it was on sale but oh well I have her kitty pink pot I have the little travel basket. I have her and her accessories. I have her Spencer and travel outfit. Caroline's series was the best. Like, I'm sorry. I have this outfit and her skates. I love this picture. I will forever love this picture. The backdrop is just so gorgeous. I'm really sorry if it's really greeny, by the way, you guys. Josie! That's just amazing. I, I just can't get over it, you guys. Like, this is amazing. The pictures alone make it worth it. And then the information. Oh, 100%. You have to have this if you're an AG collector of any sort. Like, I, I can't get over this. MG and Cecile. The most controversial characters ever. Everyone wants these. Everyone wants the seal. And then everyone wants the Marie Grace I sold to make customs with. It's so funny. <laughs> Both of mine are still the exact same as when I got them. Except I took her hair out of her braids. 
Oh, and the very rare summer dresses. I have Marie Grace's. I'm really glad I got it. It's so cute. The inside of Cecile's bonnet is laced with daisy, lined with daisies. I didn't notice that before. I love it. It's so cute. And then the parasol that Samantha got and I was mad about. They recycled so much from Samantha's new collection and um, no thank you. It makes me mad. Kirsten! Hmm. That's an interesting fun fact. So awesome. That picture is, oh my god, I cannot get over it. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh! <coughs> Bless me. That's what I was saying, uh oh, over. I think my allergies are acting up. I think that's what this is. My sweet Addie! This is a must-have. I'm sorry. Addie's old bed. Sammy! Samantha's one of my favorite historical characters. Her story is just so memorable. I will forever want that bed. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's beautiful. I want it so bad. $150? Uh-uh, no, thank you. So cute. I love the gazebo. I was really bummed it was 200 bucks. I want the gazebo. It's so cute. I didn't really have anywhere to put it anyway. I feel like they retired this. I'm probably wrong though. I know they're getting rid of that soon if they haven't already, but I think, I don't know. I think they got rid of the, the part of the piece. Oh my god, my second child! I got the, be the best friend characters first. I really did. Nellie is Irish. Fun fact, O'Malley is an Irish surname. Or at least I believe it's an Irish surname. I think a lot of Irish surnames have that O in front of it, so I think Allie. Allie. Wow! Nelly is. <laughs> Where'd Allie come from? Allie came from her last name. I don't know why I said that. Nelly is Irish. <clears throat> I think Rebecca is my sixth child. Oh my god, it's so cute! This is just incredible. I forever love these sets. Like, seriously, they just, mm, They're perfect. They're so perfect. You got Kit. Yes, we're going through the entire book, apparently. This is so cool. I cannot get over this. Oh, I remember. And this treehouse came out in 2008, and I was obsessed with it, and I so badly wanted it. And I did not get it, obviously, because at the time, it was like $250 or something like that, and I thought that was the most expensive thing ever at that time. It's so cute, though. The 
treehouse looks so much fun to play with. Although I'd be kind of annoyed because you can't move them around that much in the treehouse because there's not a lot of, there's no windows except for that window. And there's that tiny door that you can reach your hand through. So it'd be kind of hard to play with them in it. And Miss Ruthie! I love the did you knows. That's why I keep going over to them because they're cool. I want Ruthie's playtime outfit so badly. I really do. Mostly for the shirt, but still. <laughs> and the Oxfords. I want the Oxfords too. But seriously, I have Ruthie's PJs. Ruthie's so cute, you guys. I still need to get her accessories, actually. Oh, wait, I feel like I skipped a few. Oh, no, I didn't. Molly! That doll's kind of cool. Camp go on again! Yes! That's awesome. When Pleasant T. Roland and Valerie Tripp were developing the original American Girl characters, Kirsten, Molly, no, Kirsten, Samantha, and Molly, Valerie insisted that one of the characters needed to wear glasses. She chose Molly because she liked the way the glasses looked with Molly's braids. Wow, so it was almost Kirsten or Sam, huh? Oh my god, that is so cute! <gasps> That's awesome! I have that swimsuit, and I actually use it as a dress. And I use the sunglasses with Mia all the time. Those are like Mia's signature sunglasses, and that's Mia's signature dress. Like, she wears it a lot. I actually extended the necklace that it lays more, like, right here. Because I hated how it was so close to the neck. I don't like chokers very much. Oh, Emily! Gosh, I still can't believe they retired the best friends. Many children living in London were evacuated from the city during World War II to escape the bombing. Some I apologize, an alarm went off on my phone and um, it killed the video. Anyway, many children living in London were evacuated from the city during World War II to escape the bombing. Some children were sent overseas or to the countryside where it was safer. They returned to their families after the war, aka that's what Emily did. Oh my god, that picture is amazing. Oh my god, that's Molly's house. Oh my god, it's so cute! I love it. I love these pictures. Mary Ellen. I love Mary Ellen's books, by the way. So cute. That TV was such a cool idea. Bravo, E.G. You did go with that one. She looks so great in that dress. And she looks so much like Mia in this picture. Oh my god. I thought it was me. Like, I like had like a major sense of deja vu. I'm like, wait a minute. She looks just like my baby. It's so cool. And then Nelody, our newest bestie. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a leader of the civil rights movement in the 1950s and 1960s. He first gave his famous I Have a Dream speech in Detroit in 1963. Actually, I feel like he died soon after that. Oops. And actually, I did know that. I was obsessed with Martin Luther King as a kid. I was obsessed with Abraham Lincoln, too. I was a weird kid, you guys. I still am obsessed with, like, people like that. I was, I'm obsessed with assassinations. Hashtag, you learn something new. Author Denise Lewis Padgett grew up in Louisiana. She tapped into her childhood experiences and family history in the South to breathe life into Melody's stories. Denise also worked closely with advisory panel members who grew up in Detroit. No! I'm 
were active in the civil rights movement. I'm sorry, you guys. I did not sleep that well last night. I so badly wish I could get that studio, but... 225. Mm. And lastly, but certainly not least, actually, she is least in my opinion. I really dislike Julie. <laughs> Julie. Why do I just like Julie, you wonder? First of all, I really hate that they think the 70s is history because that was only 50 years ago. Second of all, actually not even. It was only like 40 years ago. Yeah, that's not history. Second of all, um, what's it called? It's coming. Um, I like that rainbow. Julie's story is boring. So boring it made me on. I love that they made the um, bleachers and school stuff though. It's so cool. I don't think many people have the bleachers. Do the, do the bleachers open? Oh no, it's just the way they're built. I see. Okay. I saw this in line and thought they might lift up for storage or something, but no. Doesn't look that way. Ivy! And Ivy as a best friend is so boring. I'm sorry. I don't like them. I just don't. I didn't like their collection very much. The only thing I have of Julie's is this dress. I wanted Ivy's accessories, but didn't get those. I really only wanted them for the coin. Because I think the gold coins like that are really cool. And I wanted to make a necklace out of it. And then um, the earrings. I kind of wanted the beret for the beret too. But you guys get the point. Kids Treehouse. Kids Treehouse was not only a big hit with kit fans. It was also big in size. 36 inches wide, 37 inches tall, and 23 inches deep. The Stream Playhouse was the perfect place for Kit to spend time with her friends. Holy crap, that's huge. Wow. That's the doll next to it, you guys. Like, it was huge. The little ba bucket basket thing is so cute. Sam's Parlor. Biggest collection goes to Sam. Samantha first launched in 1986. In 2014, she was re-released with a whole new collection. Of all the Be Forever dolls, Samantha set the most outfits, accessories, and pieces of furniture. Well, no crap. Most items has Molly's Curl Kit, which was 30 pieces from 2006. A hair dryer? That's so cool! Kirsten's cat and Kier Molly's dog were the first pets ever released. I own Bennett, but I don't own Kirsten's cats. OMG! My baby! I love how my camera immediately went to Mia. Like, it's just like I gravitated towards her without even consciously knowing I was gravitating towards her. Like, hello. Lindsay, Kaylee, Mirasol, Jess, Nikki, Mia, my baby! Krissa, Sonali, Gwen, Lainey, Kanani, McKenna, Sage, Isabel, Grace, and Leah. I have Nikki up until I don't have Leah yet, but I will. So I'll have the entire, this, the rest of this row and then this entire row. Because I do have Sonali and Gwen. The only four I do not have would be these four. Each year, a new girl of the year is released who shares the interests and hobbies of today's girls. The girls of the the girl of the year characters inspire girls to dream big and make a difference, whether it's standing up to bullying with Chris or diving into new adventures with Leah. I love it. Just as real girls have lots of interests, the girls of the year do too. Some love outdoor adventures such as boogie boarding or horseback riding. Kaylee and Grace. What? Gr no, Sage. I always call Grace Sage. Sage Grace. Same thing. 
<laughs> I always do that. Others practice gymnastics or dance, McKenna and Marisol and Isabel. Whatever their interest, the dolls encourage girls to try something new and express themselves. Lindsay. Lindsay would be 25 today. Jeez. Your scooter's so cute. Lindsay's laptop is so cool. I remember um, watching a video on it. Lindsay Bergman scooted off the catalog page and into the hearts of American girls looking for stories about girls growing up today. The little to the team that developed Lindsay noticed how popular the feature of the girl, girl of the year line would come to be. My favorite line. Kaylee! God, she'd be 23 today. That's amazing. I wanted Kaylee so bad. I still, I still think she's so gorgeous. And she has no part. Like, hello. That would be so much fun to play with. And there's her dog. Did you know tide pools form in the holes of crevices in rock? Of, n -n 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 -n. Tide pools form in the holes and crevices of rocks when the tide goes out. Each pool is home to lots of creatures, including hermit crabs, sea urchins, and bat stars, a type of starfish. Marisol is shockingly, you guys don't know this because I don't say this a lot, but um, she is my the first girl of the year that I ever fell in love with prior to Mia because my friend at the time had a Marisol and I was obsessed with playing with her and her accessories. Her phone I was most obsessed with playing with. Her cat. And I loved Marisol's meat outfit too. I remember I was in second grade and this was like right when I fell in love with AG. Did you know Marisol also dances Ballet Folklorio with the Mexican Folk Dance Troupe? Ballet Folklorico oh, lor, lor, lorico, oops. has some of the same movements as ballet, but it is not as strict. Each Mexican region has its own traditional dances. Get here so I don't want to very on Grande. <laughs> so cute. And here's her little, um, thingy here. I loved the true stories at the end. I'm so bummed. I think they got rid of those. I'm not sure. That's very similar to one that came out in 2009 for the, um, JLYs. They were just like used at the time. And I have it. Not this one. The just like you one. Jess Mia's arch nemesis. It's so weird to me. Like Jess's face. This Jess's face looks really bizarre. The camera's so cool. I wish I had it. That hammock is awesome. I want to go to Belize. <laughs> That's awesome. Jess is so cute. I think Jess was like $95 back in the day. Sort of. She's a year younger than me. Jess is my age. Jess. Hold up. Jess was born in my year. 
Jess, you're 19 just like me. Well, I don't know when your actual birthday is, so you might you might have already turned 20. I don't know. You'll see. This is gonna be a long, long video, but not many people have this book, so there you go. I have this outfit, and I'm obsessed with the shoes, and I put them on Mia all the time. And I use Cami from this a lot, too. And I have this outfit, and I have the ski part of it, too. I'm missing, I think, the finish flag. Not positive. I'm missing one of the flags. I can't remember which one. Because I got it off eBay. I want Sprocket so bad. Did I, I did this right? Yes, I did it. So cute. Sprocket and Jackson the horse. Hi, Jackson. Pictures are so great, you guys. I don't have this outfit. I love the boots from it, though. Oh! Okay. We're going to look at everything here. Oh my god, my baby. My baby. I have her pajamas. I want this outfit so bad. I will buy it from eBay one day. I will, I will, I will. Just wait. Wait, girl. Did you know figure skating is the oldest sport in the Winter Olympic Games? Olympic figure skaters took the ice in 1908. The sport has remained a part of the games ever since. I love this so much. I use her music player as her phone, and I still have her um, headphones and little dock. I have everything I still have of me as I have her accessories. And um, her skates live in her little bag. I want her bed so badly, and I want her accessories too. The figure skating trophy is epic, and I want to put it in her room. I have the two-in-one practice set. I lost the hockey puck, though, and I'm so pissed off about it. I remember I lost it before, and then I found it, and I forget where I even found it. It was, like, impossible, and I just randomly found it out of nowhere. And I was so happy about it, and then I lost it again, and I haven't found it since. And I am so mad that I did not get this. I wish I did. I want the ice skating thing. Still do. Always will. And I want this outfit, too. I wanted Nia's hair case, too. I remember when it came out. I wanted everything of hers. Chris is the only one who get who have to have best friends to this day. It's kind of mind blowing to me. Chris's snow outfit is so cute. Her swim gear is adorable too. Her craft table was also so super cute. I have Chris's pajamas. I remember I got them when she was girl of the year. I wish I had this outfit. It's so cute. And I want her llama too. Six feet? What? Jeez. Mia would flip if I brought a llama into the house. She'd be like, oh no, I'm moving out. <laughs> Gwen! Did you know America Girl declared May 1st, 2009 Stop the Bullying Day? Thousands of children signed pledges promising that they would stand up to bullying. I'm pretty sure I did that. I love it. The picnic table was so cute. I don't remember I wanted it when it first came out. Lainey! 
AM had this hammock. I want my use accessory so bad. <laughs> it's so expensive. I have this. I have it. And I actually have a monkey from somewhere, and it's not AG brand, but looks just like Lainey's monkey. It's kind of freaky. I'll just show you guys sometime. I want this outfit. It's the only outfit of Lainey's I don't freaking have, and it pisses me off. I can't believe I didn't get it. I wanted it, and I didn't get it. I don't remember why. I want Lulu, too. I love this outfit way too much. And the camper at the time, I remember, it was like $395, and I was like, wow, I just dropped my phone, sorry. And I was like, how is that even realistic? Ta-da! This camper was so cool. I remember EM and I were like, that's so awesome. We both wanted it. Kanani! I wanted that chair so badly, but I didn't get it. <laughs> I have her monk seal. It's so cute. And I wanted this and I didn't get it because my mom forgot to put it in the cart when she bought my Kanani stuff. And I'm so mad about it. And I still want Kanani's ukulele. <laughs> I have her paddle boarding set. That's everything that comes with the ukulele thing. It's got all kinds of Hawaiian treats in it. And the ukulele plays music. It's so cute. I have a hula dancing outfit. McKenna, one of the most popular girl of the years ever. I'm so mad that I don't didn't get Cooper too. I have a pet collecting thing. Yeah. And I'm so mad because I lost one of the shoes to McKenna's outfit and I need to buy another one. I think it's at AM's house, but AM doesn't really live there anymore, so um I don't really know how to go get it. I don't have that outfit either. It is cute though. I wanted McKenna's off bed so badly, but she wants your 25 bucks. <laughs> no. I want the hamster from it so badly. It's not even funny. The mini books. That's what I want most. Pictures are so cool. Look at her in our little gymnastics area. Oopsie. Sage! Oh, I love Sage. Her hair is so fun to play with. And her collection is gorgeous. And her story was gorgeous. And yeah. <laughs> Mia, Kanani, Jess, and Sage are probably my favorite girl of the years to date. And granted, you have to know that I have not read Leah's books yet. When I read Leah's books, I have a feeling I'm going to really like Mia, too. I will read Leah's books when I get Leah because I always buy the books with the doll since I get the first one with the doll. That hot air balloon was crazy though. Huge. It was nuts. I forever will love this outfit. Mia wears the necklace all the time. And that outfit is so cute. I have this top on Grace right now, actually. The blanket's really cute. And I have her dog. Isabel! I love her streaks. I'll never get over it. Choo-choo! still have to uncrinkle mine two years later. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if you guys heard that, but my stomach just gurgled. It's really, really embarrassing. I wanted this so badly. I actually almost like went out of my way to get it and I didn't do it. I'm glad I didn't because I don't think I would have used it much, but it is so beautiful. Hi, 
have Isabel's makeup case. That was a must have for me. Oh my gosh. Grace! I love how ambitious Grace is. She's such a brat, but I honest to God, I said that. Yes, I did. I honest to God love how ambitious Grace is. I really truly do. So cute. Bon Bon! Oh, I love Bon Bon. Bon Bon's so cute. Wow, pretty silly. Oh, look, Grace is, Grace is there at the French bakery. And Leah. I want to save the sea turtles. I have always wanted to see sea turtles hatching. Oh my god, the picture. <gasps> the picture has made my life. Oh my god, I am in love with that picture. Can, can, can I be teleported there, please? Can I please sit next to Leah? <gasps> I want to be there. Oh my god, these pictures are beautiful. I might just have to get the um towel with the with the you know <laughs> with the like with the things. With the, with the turtles. That's what I want to say. Because I have a sea turtle thing. <laughs> oh my god. Leah doesn't have a telescope in her collection. Unless... Am I missing something? <laughs> I don't think I'm missing something. I'm pretty sure Leah doesn't have one of those. Grace's bakery was insane. Sage's hot air balloon was tallest. 45 inches. That's insane. That's insane. First phone was from Marisol. And Lindsay actually, Lindsay's, Lindsay's laptop actually worked. It was so cool. I want McKenna's hamster. So bad. I want this so badly. And Sage's ring. Yep. I still have mine. I don't put it on anybody though because I don't want it to fall off and then have me lose it. I want that outfit very badly. I've actually been scouring eBay for a good price to buy it at. I just really want the top, honestly. And I want this outfit. I'm mad I didn't buy it now. That outfit I thought was cool when it came out. And I want this one. I'm looking on eBay for this one, too. The Truly Me dolls give every girl a chance to find a best friend who is just right for her. With more than 40 dolls to choose from and a range of eyes getting hair colors, girls today can express themselves through Truly Me dolls. You have to have this book, you, this book, you guys. It's, it's a must-have. Mia has that guitar. Because she's a musician. Whoa! Is that a German Shepherd? I spy. Okay, that German Shepherd's going to come home. I love that thing. So cute. And I'd name it Lucy after the German Shepherd that we had to give away. Those glasses look so cute on her. I want that. I'm going to get that diabetes kit too. I don't know who I'm going to give it to yet. We'll see. Look at them all.
433. Her face is all ruined. Did I say 33? I meant 35. It is 35, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> it's like, wait. Is that 39? Nope. 39's right there. Oh, yes. This is old table. I remember I wanted it back in the day. I need that dress. I will find it and I will buy it someday. I have this dress and I love it on Mia. It's so gorgeous. So cute. And I have Pepper without the collar. I got him from Costco in like a box set and he didn't come with a collar. Kind of wish he did though. So cute. I love those photos on the wall. I have all three of those outfits. Ah. I love them. There's Savannah. So cute. And there's Hannah. Oh look, number 50, it's taking a bath. I feel like we're intruding on a private moment. The dog's so cute. Oh my God, this picture. These goals, look at it. They're in a basketball court. <gasps> that picture too. Oops. I have that get well soon set. Oh, so cute. Corky looks adorable. I have the Pomeranian from before they released it via AG. Sorry. Alarm disturbed me again. have those BJs. I really wish I'd gotten that. I'm so mad at myself. <laughs> she looks really cute in that outfit. 29. Oh, it's Blockus and pizza. Oh my God, this picture. Makes me so happy. I'm so upset about that though. Poor girl. So cute. I'm not as um, impressed by this park picture because I know that that park backdrop is an actual backdrop they sold. So. <gasps> um. Yeah, I'm going to be there. I want to go there. <laughs> so cute. There's a little Bella tidbit, which I found kind of interesting. Oh, they're camping. I remember I wanted this outfit too. I never got it though. I got that one. <laughs> So cute. I want it to be fall just by looking at this picture, but at the same time I don't. Because it'll get cold then. Winter Wonderland. Oh my god. I love this picture so much. Oh my god, look! They made a little Kwanzaa thing! Oh, it's so cute! They need to actually make a, a Kwanzaa thing. Because I know they have a menorah. And they have Christmas stuff. But they do not have Kwanzaa stuff. And they should have Kwanzaa stuff in my opinion. I don't know how many people celebrate Kwanzaa. If you celebrate Kwanzaa, let me know. Comment down below if you, if you celebrate Kwanzaa. That's amazing. This book is a must have, you guys.
think I just took an hour reviewing this. Oops. I don't regret it. <laughs> we went through the entire book and this for $20. This is a must have. And I cannot wait to look at it in more detail without going through a camera lens. And, um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.